Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another best of 30 days of sketches. Today's sketch for day 23, or day 22, I'm sorry, is from Rochelle Spears for Back Porch Memories. I'm going to make another embellishment cluster. I'm going to start out with some torn paper. Actually, I might start out with some regular paper and add some torn paper. So I'm going to start out with a square. I'm going to add some ripped paper. Um, I think instead of doing photos, because obviously this is going to be small, I might do a tag here. I may not go all the way down, probably to like there. And then this may be a tag uh, overlapping. Maybe a tag overlapping. I think I have some small dies, small tag dies that could work here. A tag there. And then it's got this um, banner pieces. So I might do those. I think I'm going to do them a little different. I, actually, I think I'm going to do one here. Like that. And then this one is going to go here like that I think that's what I'm gonna go with so I pulled out some more paper from or the the tags from uh, the sweet rush collection from Vicki Boone so I am gonna go ahead and use these I kind of changed up my plan for this um, so the tag is going behind the paper rather than on the paper and so um, I liked this black and white paper and then I had this vellum that has this green stars and I've had this in my stash from the early 2000s I'm not even kidding you um, but I really liked the liked it so I've held on to it for ages and so I only have a little bit left and I thought it would be perfect for um, this color scheme that I'm going with and I pulled some of the little banner flags from the Vicki Booten um, color study stickers. And I'm liking the way that it looks. And I'm trying to decide what else I want to add to it. I'm kind of flipping through things. But uh, there's not a whole lot more that I end up adding to it. You'll see me play around here um, trying to figure out what else. I did pop those uh, banner flags up onto some or pennant pieces I guess they're not really banner flags they're pennant pieces um, up onto some foam tape to give some added dimension and I did ink up the edges of that black and white paper with some lime Ricky Catherine Pooler ink I'm pulling out some additional things just to kind of play with and see what I think I might want to use if there's anything I want to add but I end up keeping this one really simple you guys so while I look through these things I'll just remind you to go and check out everyone else who is playing along the link to the playlist is down below so that you can check them out um, and so is the link to the Facebook group and to my own personal Facebook group if you want to join me over there um, you are more than welcome to do that so I will also put links to the products that are still available down below in case you are interested in those as always um, so tons of information down in that description box I am just flipping through a bunch of the color study stuff as well as the uh, ephemera from um, Sweet Rush because they they play so well together. They both have really bright uh, colors in them and I really like the two together. So if you have a little bit of color study left in your stash and you need some stuff to go with it, I would highly recommend checking out the color or the Sweet Rush collection um, the ephemera and stickers and such will match and play well with the color study papers and vice versa so if you don't if you have a lot of color study ephemera left and no paper you can uh, check out the sweet rush paper or you know just get it all <laughs> that works too so um, I did end up finding this circular piece that has the teal and the or the turquoise and the green on it and so I decided to put that underneath the little pennant flags there 
just to give it a place to live and I like the way that that looks. I am going to kind of trim that right hand side off a little so it doesn't, it looks like it's more of a circle than uh, an oblong oval. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. It just needed to be adjusted a little bit because you could tell that it was just stretched out. Um, I also changed the direction so I was rubbing some of the adhesives, adhesive off. So that is it you guys. I am not going to add any twine to it until I see what layout I'm going to put it on um, and try to figure that out as I go. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have questions or comments, leave those down below you guys. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate your t spending time with me today. So uh, don't hit, forget to hit the like button if you like this video. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe as well. I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Take care and have a great day.